Transparent image planes for modeling in Maya. This one's done quick. So here we have the end result of what we're going to be making today. As you can see, the image planes are transparent. And when we look through them from the front and the side views, we can model as seen. So it's a really handy way of modeling. Now, these image planes are just NURBS planes. Uh, that we attach to a layer and that's how that works. So here's the creation. In Photoshop, let's just uh, grab this image by Zen Animator and we'll just crop it down so that we've got the front view. Just do the front view for you guys. Uh, this is just a handy way of getting a, a ruler grid snap to center our image properly. And then we just grab one half of the image and just duplicate. It's always good to have symmetry on these image planes. So we just flatten the image. And now what we're going to do is go in and copy this image onto our channels. So here we're going to create an alpha channel, which will actually have the, the image. And we invert it. And this alpha channel will allow our transparency. So wherever it's black will be transparent. So back into our normal color channel, we'll just make that black, 100% black. And, and that'll work out really well for our image images in Maya. So we just go jump back in Maya here. And let's just create a, a NURBS plane. So just a standard NURBS plane. We duplicate that so we've got a couple here. We just assign a new material. And onto that, we put a file texture as a texture. So it has to be a 2D texture there. And we just grab our front view. And it's a PSD, so that's fine. Now, what you'll notice is when we assign these textures, by default, Maya makes them transparent. And the, the alpha channel is automatically assigned to the transparency. So here we are, we're just going to uh, get these proportions of the images correct. So we just go and see the width and height ratios. And we just go into the scale and just type them in at, with a decimal place. And that will get our nice proportions of our image. So we know exactly that we've got the same proportions. Done to the same to the side view here. Select both of them. Now you notice that the artist hasn't quite drawn this picture correctly. So we're just going to move the pivot point of one of the planes up and scale it down a little bit so that matches nicely. Freeze the transforms on both the image planes so that, was, that all zeroes out. We'll group them and move the group down to the correct thing. And we're just gonna scale everything up just so that it fits our grid nicely and that's how big our character is gonna be when we model. Rotate these around so they're the correct ways. Just checking through the front and side cameras to make sure that's fine. Let's display our orthographic cameras now and move them back so that they're not intersecting. Just check those through the cameras again. Hide our cameras so that we know that that's fine. And we create a layer. So select both the image planes and just add them in. And we can create, make them reference. And that means they're now unselectable, which is quite handy. Uh, and we can key their visibility on and off nice and handy in the layer guide as well. So just creating a sphere here to check that our image planes are working correctly. They are. And so as you can see, our image planes are working really nicely. And the last step, of course, is just to name everything correctly. And, and that's really it. That's uh, transparent image planes in Maya with layers.